Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to disable LED signboard by using AutoCAD and LED Edit. The visual which you are seeing is the letters which I had designed in AutoCAD and later I had imported the design to LED Edit. Today I will show you each and everything which is required to design like this. If you are watching my channel for the first time, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. That will help you to get all the notifications when I upload video in my channel. Let's start the video. For designing LED signboard, first you have to prepare the LED layout. Here I am preparing the layout in AutoCAD. For that, I have to open AutoCAD software. After opening AutoCAD, you will get an interface like this. First, you have to complete the initial setup. For that, you have to type command units. After clicking in units, you will get a dialog box like this. Here you have to set the parameters like I am showing in the video. In the type, you have to select architectural. In the precision, you have to set this figure. And you have to set the unit in inches. Then click OK. We have completed all the initial settings. Now we have to type the letters which is required in the signboard. For that, here we can see an option in the symbol A. This is called a multi line text. We have to click on the multi line text option. Then we have to click on the workspace and you will get the rectangle like this. You have to drag it little and click on workspace. Now you will get an option to type your text. By using the keyboard you can do that. Here I am typing in caps L E D. After typing the letters you have to select the letter and here we can change the font, change it to some attractive font, here you can change the height of the text, here I am going to make it 2 feet height sign board, so here I am typing 24, the measurement is in inches. After completing the setting, you can click copy. By zooming, you can see that the letters are now in our workspace. Now we have to draw circles over the letters. These circles will represent the holes through which we will insert pixel in the deep while making the signboard. For drawing the circle, we have circle drawing option in the toolbar. From there, we can select that option. And after selecting, we have to click on the workspace for drawing the circle. After dragging, we can see circle is drawn in the workspace. Before completing the drawing, we have to specify the diameter of the circle. For the pixel LED, the diameter will be 12 mm. Here all the dimensions are in inches. We have to convert 12 mm to corresponding inches. After converting, we have to give that value in the command box and the value is 0.4. 472. After pressing enter from the keyboard, 
you will get a small circle in the screen. After drawing the circle, you have to type array in the command box. To creating an array of circles over the letters. After selecting the array, you have to select the object you want to create the array. Here, I am going to create the array of circles, so I am selecting the circle which I have created. After selecting, you have to click the enter. You have to select the rectangular option. Here, I have created the array and you have to drag and click on the workspace for creating the array. Here you can see that array of circles has been created over the letters. Now, we have to delete the circles which are not necessary. For that, we have to have to type break option in the command. We have to select break up explode. You have to select the array which you want to break. You have to click the end up. Now you can select and delete individual circles which is outside the letters. After deleting all the circles outside the letters, now we have to delete the letters itself. For that, we have to select the letters by using the cursor. After selecting the letters, press the delete button from the keyboard. Now we can see that the circles are arranged in the shape of LED. Here we have to make some modifications so that our design looks better. For that, we have to delete unwanted circles outside the design. And we can also add circles which seems to be missing. Here, seems an leaf circle is missing. For that, I will select a circle nearby. Here I have an option copy. And I have copied a circle there. Now it looks better. After this, we have to scale the design so that it can be opened in LED edit software. For increasing the size, we use scale command. We have to type scale in the command box. Select the scale option. Now we have to select the object we would like to scale. Press the end up. Now we have to select the base point. We can select any corner and after that we have to give the scale factor in the command box here I am giving 2.5 press the enter button now we can see that the size of the object has been increased after completing the layout we have to save the layout file save we have to select the desktop option here we have to give some name and select the file of type as AutoCAD 2000 click on save after saving the layout we have to close the workspace it will ask whether we would like to save the layout in AutoCAD 2013. Here I don't want to save the layout in 2013 for my solve like to press no. We can see that our layout have been saved in this show. Now open LED edit 2014. 
you have to go to the layout section by using this icon this is the layout interface from the file we can import the DXO file which we have created by using AutoCAD we have successfully imported the DXO file to the LED edit layout page here we will complete the wiring and the save the layout as .cxb format for wiring we have to select the line tool we can wire all the LEDs like this there is also a missing method go to view open connection panel from here you can select any of the options you can click and drag complete the wiring this is the easy method you have to do this for all the letters also you have to connect like this after completing the wiring save the layout as .cxv format for that go to file save option select desktop and give a file name then click on the save option we can see the layout is saved in .cxv format now we can close the layout section and the LED edit home page we can create a new project file new project select the controller here I am using T1000 this controller and the LED is WS2811 click on OK then do then go to project configuration import cxb from the desktop we can import the layout now we can see that our layout is imported to the led edit home page from the video effects we can select animations by right clicking we can adjust the speed and we can record the animation for that record fast recording option now we can select another animation Repeat the procedure of recording. Now we can see the preview by using the edit or preview option. By this we can create animations in our letters. After recording all the graphics we can export by using export option export.led in this window click on ok select desktop create a folder and click on ok in the desktop we can see our file 00 underscore program one dot LED. You have to copy this file to the memory card and you can use it in your signboard. Hope 
that this video was useful for you. I will upload videos like this. So please support me by subscribing my channel. Thank you so much.